Finally, iOS 17 Beta 1 is here, and here are 10 of the coolest features that you will be able to find on this update. Now, we have interactive widgets on the home screen of our iOS 17 devices. Now, initially, from the keynote, we thought this will be exclusive to the iPad OS, but it turns out it's a feature on iOS as well. You can see right now, I can go ahead and just start playing music right from the widget on the home screen. I have a play and pause button right there, which is really cool. I have a reminder widget here, which I can check from here. Pretty awesome as well. And here we have one for the stocks, this works as well. So I can tap on any one of these and open directly to that page. Now, currently I have tested these three. These are interactive. The battery one doesn't do anything. Hopefully those will also be updated in the future to actually support this feature because it's really, really cool. And once devs get their hands on this and release new interactive widgets for the home screen, that will actually be a game changer. Here's another one that you will actually love. You can use live photos on the lock screen of your device and it has an amazing effect. It's something similar to live wallpapers, but it's kind of different. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So all you have to do is go ahead and create a new lock screen and just pick a live photo that you took with your iPhone. Now, once you find that photo and you add it to your lock screen, you will have this button right here where you can enable or disable this feature. So once you do that, you can see it shows this effect right here. And now I can add this to my lock screen and you can see how cool this will look. So when I just turn off the screen of my device, it will stay like that, just blurred. But once I wake up the screen, you can see it has that really cool slow-mo animation. And if you have a better picture than this, it will look, of course, even better. The big thing with iOS 17 is, of course, the new standby mode. So your iPhone needs to be in the landscape mode and actually plugged in and charging. And it will show this new standby mode, which actually is pretty cool. Now, it will have three different modes you can choose from here. You will have one where you have different widgets. So you can have stacks of widgets here. And you can actually tap and hold on them just like you would actually do on the home screen to edit those. So let me just enter the passcode here. And you will go to this page right here where you can actually add new widgets or edit or remove the current ones. You can turn on smart rotation and turn on or off suggested widgets right there. So you can see you will have like two different stacks. You can go ahead and move between them as easy as that. Now if you swipe like this, you can move to your photo so it will show you your featured photos on your screen. And if you swipe once more, you will go to this page right here. We will have these like pretty cool looking like standby modes here. So let's just unlock again. So you can tap to edit there. You can switch between these, of course. You can even customize these. So you will have all kinds of like different designs here. Tap that button. You can choose any color you want. Tap on done. And you can use any of these on the standby mode. And now let's move on to some more specific features that iOS users will love. And one of them is right here. When you go to your settings, go under general and go to iPhone storage. You of course have your apps here, but now you can sort them. You will have that button right there. You tap on the button and you can change here the layout. You can move to names or you can actually move here last use. So you can see right there size, name, and last use, which is really, really cool. And if we go to name here, here we have all the different apps, of course, and it will show you them on the alphabetic order, which would make, makes it easier for you to find the app you're looking for. Here's another really, really useful one. Go to your settings and go to the passwords and then go to password options. And you can see right here what it says, clean up automatically, for verification codes. So verification codes that you get on your email or messages, this will actually remove them automatically. Once you have used them, those will be cleaned automatically. How an amazing feature is this? It's actually pretty, pretty useful. And when it comes to security, here's another really cool one. When you go to Safari and you go to your private tabs, they're now locked. The only way to unlock them is of course using Face ID, 
or your passcode. So even if your phone is unlocked or you give your phone to someone, they won't be able to actually go into Safari and see what you have opened here under the private tabs. And we have also a new design here to switch between different groups, but this right here is pretty cool. There's a pretty cool change, actually a couple of changes here on the music app. We have a new mini player here, but the really cool feature is that now Apple has added crossfading to music. You can actually enable or disable it from the settings by going to the settings and under the music section. But finally, we have crossfading for songs being played on Apple Music. Moving on to iMessage. On iMessage, we have a pretty clean design here. Apple has removed the apps and all that from here, which is actually really, really awesome. This looks much, much better. Now we just have that plus button, which takes us to this really cool interface from where we can have access to everything we want here, like send the location. You can see how cool that is. You can actually just tap there and send the location. And of course you will have all the other stuff here, like the audio and all that. And if you tap more, then you will see all the apps that you have. Also another really cool feature here, if you swipe from the left to the right, you can quickly reply to a message. And last but not least, you can see the photos widget right here. Now Apple has added another widget, another type of photo widget. This one will let you pick any album that you have on your camera roll and actually just shuffle photos from that album. So you tap right here, tap there and just choose any album you want. And from now on, you can choose the pictures that you'd actually display on your photos album on on your photos widget on the home screen. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are 10 of the coolest new features you will find on iOS 17. Make sure to subscribe for more, leave a like on this video and I'll see you on the next one.